morning. We are going to look at injecting sheep today. But before we start, there's a few things we must keep in mind. The first is different remedies have different injection sites and also different dosages. So we need to know the weight of the sheep in, in order to work out the correct dosage. Um, secondly, um, we need to know the where to inject, is it subcutaneous under the skin or intramuscular into the muscle? And thirdly, we must know the withdrawal time. When is it safe to use the meat or the milk again? And in order to do that, we have to read the instructions first. And every drug should have a package insert which gives you all the relevant information about how much, where to inject, what the, the remedy is effective against. If you don't have the package insert, most of the time it will also be on the box. You can also make sure of how to use the drug directly on the box. Um, when we inject sheep, we have to realize that there are different injection sites and there are different drugs. Some are more viscose than others. And for that, that will influence the type and the length of needle that we use. There are also drugs that may stay in the wool. So for that, we'll try and use a longer needle. Um, the sites where we inject sheep is either under the skin or intramuscular. And um, for intramuscular, we normally use a slightly longer needle than for subcutaneous. But as I said, if it's something that may stay in the wool, like for instance this product here, then we'll use a slightly longer needle for the subcut injection as well. The same with the one in the axilla, tent the skin, put the needle in, let go, inject, and just rub it downwards into the injection site. 